Hey, guys and girls, I'm Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are making this quick video here today to talk about the incredible six-part podcast series that Hunter and I uh, recently did. Actually, it's been a, a couple months ago that we started filming, and now it's done. And the first episode is breaking tomorrow, uh, Monday, May 13th, and it's actually breaking at a special time. Normally, the Jay Campbell podcast launches at 6 p.m. Eastern and has for literally six years, I think, in a row now. Um, combined uh, TOT Revolution and Jay Campbell podcast were well over into the 600 podcast range. But uh, tomorrow's is absolutely, without a doubt, the most profound uh, episode and I would say series of episodes that I've ever done. And Hunter and I had the pleasure of interviewing Laura Knight Yadchik, who is uh, an author, a paranormal researcher, a founder of a bunch of incredible uh, websites and information. And again, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it over to you, Hunter. I mean, just a profound teacher. I mean, her information and her research, you know, started out into the paranormal, the hypnotherapy space, ufology, all of this stuff in the late 80s. And then she started publishing stuff online in the 90s, obviously, when the internet came online. And as you know, her internet, I mean, her research is really unparalleled. Uh, and, and, and again, I guess this the esoteric realms of uh, paranormal research. And uh, and we were blessed to obviously, again, sit down with her. We have over 12 hours of really, really deep, meaningful, mind-expanding, skull-crushing uh, conversations about the nature of our reality or the hyperdimensional nature of our reality. What What are your thoughts on these episodes and how much does, you know, getting a chance to sit down and learning from Laura mean to you? Yeah, dude. So when we set out to do this with Laura, first of all, it was amazing that one, we read her books and then we're able to get in touch with her and just to be able to learn from her. So, you know, like my heart is eternally grateful for just getting to meet her and be in her presence and everything. But here's, here's the, uh, I guess issue is she has, I think 16 published books, maybe more. And her series, her flagship series is called the wave. Um, is eight books and over thousands of pages long. And as we know, most people now do not read whatsoever. So our goal in doing this was to one, expose her work to a larger audience, and then also condense it down into a way to all the people that will never read out there can kind of understand where she's coming from and where she's talking about. And in doing so, they're going to deprogram themselves from a lot of the societal brainwashing and even some of the new age seeker brainwashing that so many people, you know, in our space, whether it's the health space or the, you know, new age, call it space, um, have been brainwashed into. So I think we did an amazing job doing that. Her, she said that herself and her team doing that. So I think, you know, like we take these books that were written and condense them down into something that people can listen to, you know, for 12 hours and really sit on it and meditate on. Um, and get a gist of where our books are and then whether or not they go and read the books, that's up to them. Um, but in doing so, it's, it was our goal to bring it to a larger audience and, and kind of help the deprogramming there. So I think we did a good job of that. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we, we, we told, we told each other that we wanted to make this video and get it out on the day before the first podcast launches. Um, the good news is, well, we should, we should give a little bit more background on Laura for people that don't know about Laura. So Laura is a mother of five. Um, I would say she's very salt of the earth. Um, you know, she lived uh, the gr a good majority of her life in Florida, a little bit north of where I am. She was in Port St. Lucie, and then I forget the little town that she was that she spent uh, that she had relatives in. Uh, but now she's in um, Europe, and for reasons that are obviously very made, made very obvious in the six series of episodes, and of course in her books, um, she's also written books. Um, about the ufology world, um, again, the hyperdimensionality of space and time, uh, understanding, you know, ultra terrestrial mm -hmm. versus interdimensional or hyper density beings. Uh, she's also been able to classify the seven densities of reality from first through seven. Uh, there's so much in her work and, and her research that is worthy of reading. And as you said, most people today cannot read or won't read or don't have the attention span to read. And that's a shame because her books are profound. As you know, she also has a book on Christianity, which is called From Paul to Mark, which you and I have both read, which is actually, I mean, profound isn't even a strong enough word because she really completely unravels uh, the Abrahamic religious teachings to teach every one of us who's willing to listen and to learn and to actually analyze the 
historical record who who Yeshua slash Jesus slash the avatar being known as the Christ really was or is. Um, and again, that's incredibly profound. Uh, she's also been involved in the deep study of uh, ponderology or political ponderology, which is again, the study of psychopathy, like actually understanding why people who are psychopaths are psychopaths, especially as it relates to the global government, because there's so many psychopaths that are attracted to leadership positions and not only government hunter, but also corporations. I mean, she's done so much in the fields of again, paranormal research or esoteric research, uh, the hyperdimensional reality of existence. And again, as you know, Hunter, she's read in our estimation or actually her estimation, more than 20,000 books in her lifetime and then condensed and coalesced all that information into the Wade series so that people didn't have to read all the books that she's read. I mean, again, you name it from shamanism to religious and ph philosophic teachings to ufology uh, to quantum physics. I mean, her husband, Arkowitz is, uh, or Ark, uh, I forget this, how you pronounce his last name. He's an amazing Polish quantum physicist and his work, he's still, and he's in his early eighties and he's still today publishing research. Um, so, I mean, between both of them, they're absolutely, they've done some amazing things for the world. And I think, you know, I'll switch it over to you in a second here, but I think, you know, her, her, her true legacy is her ability, as you said, to, to really take all of this arcane, you know, esoteric information and research and to distill it down into digestible formats so that anyone, you know, who's willing to learn to expand knowledge, because as, as we learn from her work, knowledge protects ignorance and dangers. Uh, life is nothing but lessons and lessons are fun is uh, you have to do the work, right? You have to be willing to self-reflect. You have to be willing to be introspective. You have to be willing to actually reflect on the information that you learn because the only thing you can do while living in third density as a physical body be or a soul in soul physical body being uh, is to expand right and to learn and to grow so that you have the opportunity to to get out of here to you know to travel from third density to fourth density and onward and upward um but maybe just share a little bit about you know your thoughts about all of these episodes because obviously they're going to be going over the next six weeks and i think as you already kind of said, they they really will leave a lasting legacy for people who are never going to read her works. Yeah. So when I look at approaching whatever we would call our research dude into what is going on on the planet, both you and I, ever, even long before we met, we've been seekers, so to speak. So we've always been trying to figure out what's going on. And I think Laura's work does the best job that I've, you know, by far ever come across in terms of giving me a framework to understand reality for what it is. And then also giving me uh, the implementation tools to navigate the framework of reality. And uh, I know that sounds deep, but that's exactly what it does. But when it comes to these episodes, what I want people to understand is I think a lot of times people that are more aware or more awake get caught in a loop of trying to figure out who's running the world, why they're doing it and what they benefit you know, who benefits from the suffering going on in the world? You can look at the physical health problems the world is experiencing right now. You can look at the totalitarian control. You can look at, um, you know, earth cataclysms from a natural disaster standpoint. You can look at, like you talked about, the political ponderology, the nature of psychopaths and power in our planet. And a lot of times we find ourselves asking, why, why would there be so much pain and suffering on the planet right now? And these episodes that Laura, you know, is teaching us really through these episodes, she explains who's running the show, why they have an agenda in making so much suffering on this planet, and then what we can do about it. Because, you know, you can go read any conspiracy research or you'll get, you know, a thousand different opinions about who runs the world, why they want people in suffering. And uh, Laura does a better job explaining of what's going on, but then she also kind of gives you a framework of how to extract all that information and then decode reality to make choices in the future, which can shape the collective reality that we experience. So um, I want people to understand that, you know, that you ask the question, who are they? You know, like we did that, we did a show before we did these, who are they? Who's running, who's running the show? Why do they want people sick? Why do they want people poor? Why do they want all this suffering on the world? 
And Laura explains that and explains what we can do about it. So I think if people really, if, if I will say this, and this is not hyperbole, this series will likely break down everything you thought you knew about the earth, even if you thought you were aware or awake, because Jay or Jay and I would have said that before we met Laura and read her books and everything. This will make you reevaluate not only what you think about the world, but also what you're doing with your life. So I'd say tread lightly because it's going to be like a deprogramming experience in that sense. Uh, but in, in the end, it will be better because now you'll have the knowledge to act and change your life accordingly based on what's going on in this realm, so to speak. So um, again, I don't think there's more important work that we could be doing right now. We're doing a lot of things, dude, like when it comes to health optimization, all that stuff. But when it comes back to it, this is the most important work because all of that other stuff stems off of our understanding of what she taught us and how reality works, you know? Yeah, dude, well said. I mean, I'll just wrap it up by saying 100%, you know, it's great to talk about peptides and hormone optimization and understanding the importance of raising your consciousness slash your frequency, changing your frequency resonance vibration. But as a soul being in a third body, excuse me, a third density physical avatar body, our mm -hmm. job is to evolve and grow, to, to get out of here, to actually, you know, if earth is a school, and life is lessons and learning is fun, then our real modus operandi is learning enough to progress, to graduate. And by learning this information, watching these podcasts, I mean, obviously you and I recommend that you buy our books, right? And there'll be links to uh, this show in the comments and the descriptions of this video. And obviously tomorrow's podcast, which again is breaking at 1 p.m. Eastern and will launch, will launch through June 17th. So six weeks in a row, of literally two hours plus in some of the episodes, most of them are two hours, but some of them are a little bit longer of the deepest conversations that you and I have ever had. And, pr and probably truthfully, some of the deepest conversations that have ever been put out on a podcast. Um, you know, so I will say, and you and I both know this, there is obviously the risk that quote unquote, the powers that be the fourth density consortium that controls the third density power structure or hyperdimensional control matrix may delete the video. They may delete my channel. I, mean, I don't want to put that out there, but reality is the reality. And that is, you know, always a possibility, but we do have uh, contingency plans. We are putting it also on X. Uh, we will have the hard copy files in case we have to put them somewhere else. And, and who knows, Hunter, maybe everywhere deletes them and they end up just going into the fully optimized health membership group, you know, which is private and controlled by us and run by our own internal server. So I'll just say to all of you guys, um, we highly encourage that you do give these videos a listen. I would recommend that you go someplace quiet. You know, you really don't want to be disturbed when you're watching these. And, and granted, it's two hours in a row. So I know we all have life and work and, you know, sp specific and unique uh, work-life balances and, and, and responsibilities. But definitely pay attention to this. And like I said, to attempt to go somewhere where you can be silent or get really quiet and focus on listening to this because... There's so much information that is dropped and, 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 and knowledge that is dispelled that you probably really will have to listen to this one to two and perhaps three times. And if you're new to this stuff, probably three or four, maybe even five times uh, to really let this you know information resonate with you consciously because it's that profound. But uh, I'll just say, again, 1 p.m. tomorrow Eastern, I'll get this out. This video will publish sometime this evening on Sunday, May 12th. Happy Mother's Day to all the women that are watching this video and to all the amazing moms out there. Um, I'm Jay Campbell and for Hunter Williams, we will talk to you guys very soon. Peace. Peace.